Hi, let's discuss how to plot a Lena Jones potential on MATLAB. So if you see a Lena Jones potential, there are two terms for the Lena Jones potential. One is the repulsive potential, which is a positive part, and this increases the energy of the system. And the another one is a attractive potential, which is a negative term, and this reduces the energy of the system. So if you see a Lena, Lena Jones potential plotting, you see that there is a minimum uh, value for this curve and that curve, that value is nothing but the epsilon value that is equilibrium of the minimum potential value and for neon or noble gas the minimum value of the potential energy is 0 0.0031 electron volts so that means for a neon the interaction between the atoms is very low or it's a very weak interaction between the atoms so let's see how to plot on MATLAB. So I have a, a code, MATLAB code written in this way. So I define the functions. The first function is the total energy. The second function is the repulsive part and the third function is the attractive part. And later I define the variables. E is a epsilon, S is the sigma value and R is the radius or the distance between the two atoms, which I'm defining as line space 0 0.75 to 8. And I'm calling the function in this fashion. Later, I'm plotting only the Lena Jones potential. I have commented these two parts so that it's not required. I want to discuss this part. So I'm commenting the axis range setting also. So if I comment this and if I plot the curve, the plot looks like this, which is not a good plot because you can't see the value clearly. But if you change the axis value, the y-axis range, which is nearer to this value from minus 0 0.01 to 0 0.01, you can see that you, the clear plot has been created and you can see the minimum value is nothing but the 0 0.0031 uh, uh, electron volts. I have an another way of doing it. I'm defining the R as a factor I'm factoring it with S Sigma and later I'm plotting the figure uh, R versus R by S versus U by E so I'm factoring R with Sigma and I'm factoring U with Epsilon so the minimum value range uh, you can see the plot is like this so it's ranging from minus 20 to 20 I can change this axis 0.75 and I can put 3 and I will change the y axis range from minus 2 to 2. So now when I plot the figure Now when I plot the figure, the figure is very clear because I have changed the y range from minus 2 to 2. So the intervals also has changed from uh, 10 to 0.5. So you can see a very clear well. And this is how you plot a Lennon Jones potential on MATLAB. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting uh, educational videos.